Gavin. You still haven't found him? Nope. But I won't give up. He's lost. One morning, I just woke up and he wasn't there. Someone must have taken him. Maybe he just left. Gavin? <laughs> no. No. We were best mates. I mean, really, best mates. He'd never leave me. Never. What's possessed you? Stick him up, cowboy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This yeah, city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. From what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. I think so. Just... 
I'll meet you back here or not. Funny you should say that. Well, you know how it is. I told them, I say, that's the state of Le Moine for you. America's dirty little French seat. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> that's why we love it. Born and raised. Mm. Well, I'll get you in a second. Not unless we all get washed away. <laughs> Every year they say that's gonna happen. It ain't happened yet. <laughs> Let me tell you something. The rest of the states, they lucky to have us. If it wasn't for us, they'd probably have run back to Britain with the tails between their legs at the first sign of trouble. You got that right. Now, how can I help? You look like a whiskey man. Sure. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Sure. That's the real stuff. From Scotland. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. So... Mister, can I ask you a question? You ever hear of a fella by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, friend. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you in, but leave it, friend. You and your pal that was in here before. Bronte? Angelo Bronte? Mr. Big, Mr. Italian, spaghetti eating, long streak of piss big. Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you can talk to them kids in the alley. They'll know how I get. Oh, hey, friend, you'll be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. Italian. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What it'll cost. I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. Oh, 
my friend. Here. Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, Bella. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Modeled on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but, uh... Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey, <laughs> you little bit of shit! Let's go! That fellow was angry! You better stop right now! Careful. Why are you pestering me? Fine. I wanted no trouble in the first place. Good morning, mister. Little move. Oh, fine now. 
something, Fred? Give me my things, boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend, but that kid is, and he robbed from me. Now, give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. The kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. <gasps> Ow. Come on! You new in town, mister? Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. <laughs> you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why he gonna care a thing about you? I just want to speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. Well, you and your friends should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, yokel. Now, get out of here. Welcome. Now, let me see. Any of these sets would be just perfect for you. That is of the highest quality you can find. That should be good.
Thanks for your assistance. Bonjour, monsieur. Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Huh. Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John. You meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of... Parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know, and far from real open country. Buenos dias, senor. Bonjour, monsieur. Can anybody show me some kindness? Please, you, yes, please, coin, please. Please, a coin. Won't you lend a coin to a fella in need? Go get yourself something to eat. Come on. Sir, I want you to have this. Thanks, man. It's nice to give something instead of just begging. I hate asking for money like a goddamn worm. Probably here in the dirt.
Why do I waste my time? Why? <sighs> you okay, bud? No. Fantastic. You Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors and slippery tongue bull suckers. I'm inclined to agree. Uh, here, help me, please. Back to work with a bloody smile. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius, so we shall the hot poker up the ice. Say thank you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you, some kind of European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ice, like I say. <laughs> toy maker. Hello? Do I look like I should entertain children? No. No, he says. <laughs> no. <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, Bobby. Yes, you meet him. Professor Marco Dragic. <laughs> the one the silver tongue American betrayed. And not paid the money to. Yes, he told to shit, man. So, uh, what's this toy about? It is not a toy, Big Nuts. It is demonstration of my genius. Of my ideas about the source of life. Oh, it's a toy boat. Yes, it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity and waves you cannot see. Good for you. <laughs> waves I cannot see. And still, the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, please. Uh, <clears throat> Ladies! <laughs> Gentlemen! <laughs> Enchanté! <laughs> yes. Hello! Hello, sir! <laughs> okay, uh, how is the piles? Yeah? Good, good, good. Okay, uh, my friends, you are about to witness history. A demonstration of my infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. You, you are old. Oh. But maybe I can make you immortal. <laughs> Using waves you cannot see, I will power this boat. You're a goddamn fraud. And this buffoon dressed up like a buffoon is a stoolie. I watch them conspire, you morons. Well, I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? So, Professor, Show us your magical toy boat. Only this time, let the buffoon control it. Check if there's any funny business. No, this ain't nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. Uh, it is easy. Any moron could do it, and I am about to prove that. Here, take this, and this, and... Uh, don't touch that. Use these ones to steer, and this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Yes, now, now blow up the little battleships and, and avoid the sea mites. They have magnets attached. Make a nasty explosion if they touch the bot. <laughs> if this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on boat to destroy the battleships, Imagine what technology can do in the hands of certified genius! And I have certificate. Hey, it's doing what I'm telling it. Of course it is doing. Now tell it to do closer to battleship and shoot with torpedo. You see what he does? No wire like telegraph. No pulley system underwater. Only waves in the air. This is remarkable. Think of those poor boys on the H.L. Hunley. Eight of them perished to a mere five on the Housatonic. And what a way to go. Trapped in a box at the bottom of the bay. I suppose you intend to make an unmanned killing machine? You misunderstand. This is the secret to life. Not death. The transmigration of the soul. I make lifeless metal breathe like man. Well... I'm not sure about that.
Another one down. I'm getting the mastery of this. Show them one more to prove. The mine now. Even little boats can sink, okay? Please! To the dock. That sure was something, but I'm not sure what, if anything, was proven here. The, the, the demonstration's not over yet. Any fool can explore the sitting dock. Next, we will show you the moving docks. Well, all right. <laughs> Let me just reload her. <laughs> this is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> ah. Now the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of pond, still avoiding magnetic mines. Oh, he'll attempt to at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart talk. The steam train, the telegraph machine, the motor car. They will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. We are not reliant on wires or coal or gasoline. No, just rays in the air. Like the voice of God. And funding from us. And funding from you, of course. But what a thing to fund. What an opportunity! No one is stupid enough to pass this up. Not even Dimwit here. Hey, you really all work on your salesmanship. Ah, Americans! All you think about is sales! Look who rules the seas! Very good, very good! Now bring in the boat back here. Foolproof! Undeniably foolproof! But you are not fool. <laughs> and then, as I say, any fool, huh? Thank you, thank you. What is that? It is the stuff of life, sir. It's incredible. No, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab, back at Dover Hill. That will astound all of you. Mr. Marcel, can I count on your support? Well, this is expensive. It is immortality, sir. It is it is very cheap. Perhaps over lunch. Maybe. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. Uh, there, I will really amaze you. Um, <coughs> and I hope you will forgive my...
faster. <laughs> Easy now, boy. Yep.
So what do you think of this place? You folks sure move around a lot. Javier. Hello, Arthur. Don't forget about all that money out there. Of course not.
What's the problem? Your brain not working. Out of the damn way.
Easy, whoa. Hello, Mr. Morgan. Get that horse Just off calm down, you idiot. Not how we do things. How have you been, Arthur? Okay. You seem well, Reverend? Yes. Well, maybe. I've been okay before, but then I make a fool of myself again. So do I. I went into town. So did I. If I was still a, a religious man, I'd say there are too many Catholics there, but I've given up on all that. Oh. Me too, Reverend. I met a monk there. A kindly fella. Took me back to my days in college. Is there any purpose to this conversation, Reverend? Not really. But he said the strangest things about all manner of bad things happening in town. Bad things happening in a city. <laughs> Who would have thought it possible? Well, maybe if you're there, you could have a chat with him. He's hanging about outside the marketplace, collecting alms for the poor. Sounds thrilling. Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but, but we're still alive. Mm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, Life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. 
What about you? I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Or I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Where are we heading? I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. All right, head for Rhodes. And quick. She's in Rhodes? No. She's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No. She spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. And now it is. Oh, yes. What do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes, they probably followed us down here. You don't know what happened? She killed one of them, for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. See? You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Of course I care. About all of you fools. Some just require a firmer hand than others. You were special. Okay, I think that's the place up ahead. I think there's a guard. I'll deal with him. Whoa. What you want? Come, sir. We're lost and in need of some help. Oh, get out of here. Oh, I see that kindly face of yours. And I know that for the right inducements. Now get out of here. Oh, now you keep saying that. But you don't mean nothing by it. I said... You said your last words. Hell, what are you waiting for? Get in there and find our girl. I'll take it. That. Okay, Miss Tilly. Now, let's get you out of here. I thought there was... I... Yeah, it don't matter what you thought. It's okay. 
All right, let's go. Oh, come along, miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them. Oh, don't worry. I'll be just fine. Now catch that bastard. <laughs> the boss. Lasso him and we'll take him back to Tilly. Go on. That bastard. Don't kill him yet. I want Tilly to have the last word on this bastard. so we can all have a nice little chat. I'm gonna head over there now to check she's okay. With pleasure. I'll take his hand. He won't be needing it no more. This could get bumpy. Let's go, girl. You have the first idea what you're getting into. I'm Anthony Foreman. Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an A? I want the undertaker to spell it right. Funny bastard. <laughs> Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. Oh, shut the hell oh, up. Shit. She didn't tell me nothing. Oh, this rope is cutting into me. Don't feel so good when you're the one tied up, does it? She killed my goddamn cousin. Oh, don't worry. You'll be seeing him soon enough. What are you gonna do with me? I ain't sure yet. Reckon I'll let Tilly decide what you deserve. You're wasting your time with that girl. She's a liar. She'll screw you over like she did me. I should have shot the bitch yesterday like I said I would. You just shut your mouth now, Anthony. I've heard enough. Son of a... Damn coward! Get off me!
right, all right, damn it. So he's still alive then? Ah. Yes. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur! You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone! Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. All right, you. Come on. Let's get you home. Yeah! Now get out of here.
Get him. The darky white. Although I don't know why they call him that. Look at him. Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean off you. Come right. on. And All I'll tell right. you, you lily livid. Enough. Huh. You two fools look like you've just run off a chain gang. Yeah, what of it? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's okay. You and for a darkie. Shut it, you pasty face streak of piss. Yeah, I had it up to here with you. Enough. Do your goddamn favor what you want. Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. <sighs> okay. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat. Don't push your luck. Nice fella. Yeah, you love nice fellas. Don't you start up again. Just shut up. You shut up! Come on, girl. Mister, I need that poster. There's been a recall. I weren't born yesterday. This one's mine, so you can go and get your own.
Making a point with you. Uh, huh.
simply respect from us as a sign of respect to our creator we pay respect for the dead back to work great scott i thought i recognized you hello again running up the tab now have we that's you turned over a new leaf i'm sure Thanks. I caught some reprobate shambling around my backyard yesterday. Went straight to law, of course. I swear this place is going straight to hell. Come on, girl. Hey, I need to get to that poster behind you. Would you move a little? <laughs> I will not. Deputy put up plenty. Go get one of those. Please, mister, I'll just reach by. It won't take but a second. I'm leaning on it. Find one that ain't in use. Hey, move. I need that poster. Oh, I'll move, all right. How's this for moving? Jeez. Puny. No. Bounty hunting bastard. I'm going to end you. This year version of uh, being friendly. Hey, I don't now, have that to take this. Don't sit right in my book. Remember who you were dealing Good morning. Any idea about the land you walk in, do you? What us raiders gave for it. Something else. I've been dreaming of iron like. 
this since I was a boy. Damn fine piece right there. I've been practicing. Told you I was good. Day to you. Well, long time no see, stranger. <laughs> Got anything good for me by any chance? All right, then. Better be good. Rich keep getting richer. That's just the way it goes, I guess. Well, you don't do this as a profession, huh? You got a decent eye for these things, by the looks yeah. of it. Out of the way! I'm 
won't be sorry. Thanks. Have a great day. Well, been a while since you were last here. Take a look. Any questions, feel free not to ask. Oh, that's the whole range. Well, that was fun. Thank you. Real. Well, I'll be damned. You're back. What can I offer you? Terrible thing what happened to the parlor house. No surprise the Braithwaites were behind it. Let's have well, a look in here. It'll be here when you change your mind. We've had quite enough of your kind here. Well, hello there. How's your look? Quite some poster, eh? If I looked like that, I would have pursued a more dishonest path myself. No, that fella is farming the swamp, or trying to get up by Siltwater Strand. Hey, 
Hey, friend. Hello. How was in town? Pretty hot. There's quite a price on you boys. It is so unfair. I, I didn't do nothing. Well, they said you was wanted for murder. It wasn't murder. It was self-defense. And you killed a farmer? Well, firstly, I would have, but he died before I could. And secondly, well, he had it coming. He... I don't like to say. Well... Ain't no business of mine. Here's the posters. Thanks, partner. That's that, then. That's that. Free at last. Free from you, at least. Well, not quite. No? We should wait a while first, see if anyone's on our trail. You're right. Too risky to split up now. Yeah. You can see the bind I'm in. I need help again. Come on. Okay, okay, fine. I know this doesn't look good, but I swear I didn't do nothing wrong. All right. God, Second yes. time's the charm. I can't believe it. Oh, I thought they were never coming off this time. I'd be done without you, that's for sure. I'll owe you till the end. Maybe someday I'll make it up to you. In some way. If I'm ever looking to collect, I'll just hang around the sheriff's office. I'm sure you'll show up sooner or later. Yep. Here, I picked up some oleander. Is this enough? Yeah, should be plenty. I'll get working on some more knives later. How are you keeping Abigail? Just fine. No, I never, uh, never told you this, but... You're quite a woman. Thank you. Quite a woman. You can make a fella real happy. Bet you know how. I got work to do. Don't mind me. Thank you for your help with Miss Jackson. Uh, don't mention it, Miss Grimshaw. You're a fine man, Mr. Morgan. Sometimes, at least. Thank you. I think.
When are you going to get off your ass and do something? I'm pacing myself, Arthur. How are you? Uh, I can't complain. Glad to hear it. Mr. Morgan. Still working, Mr. Strauss. What you been up to? Trying to wrap up our accounts before we leave, Mr. Morgan. So you'll be joining us in Tahiti? I uh, rather fancied Australia. A similar kind of people to us. Lots of opportunity. That tells me we're going to be ranchers. Perhaps, but um, so far we have not raised many cattle. No. So, Mr. Morgan. Will you help me finalize our business here? <coughs> this is filthy work. We'll need money in Australia. Uh, for cattle and feed, I mean. Why flinch now? You never have done before. I don't know. Well, here they are. Some fishermen by the name of Davison, Algy Davison, living in a place called Catfish Jackson near Scarlet Meadows. A fisherman. And... That's it. We're a union built on that, you know. Yeah. Okay. Careful, Strauss. Oops. Make sure you stay awake there, Karen. Hey, Arthur. Is that a journal I see you writing in? Something like that.
I've lost my mind, Mr. Morgan. Lost it entirely. Nice to see you too, Reverend. I've lost it. I used to be an intellectual. Now I'm just a fool. Well, <laughs> I've always been happy as a fool. <laughs> you all just laugh at me. I know you do. This is Ed. That looks like a new gun. Sorry, you, you all right? Mind if I sit? No, be my guest. Let's go, boy.
better have a damn good reason for being on my property, mister. Remember that loan you took, Mr. Davison? Well, time's long since up. I'm here to collect. Oh, I should have known. You goddamn bludgeon men are all the same. Sure, I'm sure I got your money. Every stinking cent. It's in the house. Hell, I'll even offer you a drink. We can toast to never laying eyes on each other again. I got a powerful thirst on me right now. How about you? Well, you gotta be stinking drunk already to do this kind of work. Ah, uh, I like doing it sober. If you take my money, surely you take a drink off me as well. That would be the manly thing to do. Let's us handle the money first. Worry about manners later, okay? I could be fishing. You were catching flies, you weren't catching fish. Now come on, let's get us that debt. But this is as fast as I can go. Someone's here, boy.
Okay, boy. Let's go. Yeah. Before it is too late, our numbers are waning. Thanks to the fools in Congress Ooh, and their ludicrous yes. ideas. Hail! Hail with But today, we grow one yeah. star. Yeah. 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 As we Back anoint day. a new brother oh. yeah. into our you know sacred it. cause. Woo. Yeah. Please yeah. step yeah. forward yeah. and Keep it quiet. Supreme hey. one's talking. Do you choose to accept the light? Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Thank you very much. Woo. All right. Come on. <laughs> Let there we go. the eternal ah. light shine. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Woo. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Woo. Watched a good man die and did nothing. 
Seems like maybe that's a sign, eh? A test. That's all. A test of devotion to our great cause. You're just a bunch of morons in ridiculous outfits. Which makes you the prize moron. You dirty son of a bitch! I'll show you! Oh, Lord! Goddamn hooded rodents. I'll kill all you bastards. until you get this right. I can't. <gasps> We're here for your bounty. <gasps> Come to mama, boy. <gasps> Don't shoot. I'm an arm. We knew you was coming. I got something to ask. I'm a changed man. Okay? Let me say my farewells. I'll come away peaceable. Make it quick. You're a forgiven man. Boy, boy, come here. Listen. Exactly as I say. You hear? Don't, don't. I ain't move. gonna fight you in front of my family. Okay? You gonna take me? For what? It's like her. It's like that, is it? Get the boy out of here. <laughs> this is uh, very kind of you.
real quiet back there. Most captured men, they beg or they cry or they rail against fate. I've made my peace. Okay. What was the point in all that? Huh. Could have got your neck broke prematurely. There he is, like the boar said. Let him go okay. back to his family. Or you're gonna have trouble. Who the hell shot of me. I'm ready. I hope they make it quick. Found this feller on a small holding. Name's Mark Johnson. You can only run so long, son. There's your cell. You're lucky it's not a grave. I was out to buy you. Wasn't hurting no one. Maybe you weren't, but those partners of yours were a rough bunch. Go to hell. That's the price for Johnson. I didn't take it, someone else would have. You tell yourself that, bounty hunter. You ain't wider than white. I hope your pass catches up. All right, boy. I've been trapped down here. Good morning to you. Why are you dressed up like that? <laughs> I've seen some sick perversions in my time. This one might take the prize. No, 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 wait, please. You've got to help me. It's that crazy gunsmith. He made me dress up like this. He's got me chained to the goddamn bird. You gotta do something, please. He's never gonna let me go. Move already. Back again? Happy to have you. I cannot believe the Braithwaite's would sink so low as to burn the Gray's tobacco fields like that. Whoa, now. That's a fool decision.
Yeah.